and the way that it is brought up. And I think that when they keep them with the sheep, they begin to think that they are sheep themselves. And so that they grow up being dogs that believe that they are sheep and they stay with the sheep and they are treated very different as far as family, uh, families of Diné. And it was that the old traditional Diné believe you never ever bring a dog into the house. Go for it. Up among our Diné, there has been a lot of uh, history in that with the uh, the dog. The original uh, name for the uh, animal dog is Sechai, but the original name in our language was Sechai Yan. That's what the uh, the name was, and it simply is referring to the horse. Se, and then later on, when the horses all vanished, came only the dog. And so the dog was very useful in many ways, and so he took on the name of the part of it, horse, and then the rest of it is that he that eats the, uh, the horse that eats uh, feces. And uh, that was the name that uh, a lot of people don't realize is that the name came from Si Chai Yan. And so today we just call them Se Chai. And so it um, is that the Dene have always had dogs and uh, to do certain things among our people. But the one that most people are familiar with in modern times is the Navajo Sheepdog. These uh, sheepdogs are very special, uh, but they don't get special treatment in some ways, but they do, or what they do as sheepdogs is outstanding work. And so now if you drive along the highway throughout the Navajo Nation, small herds of sheep and goats always has a couple of dogs that are there taking care of them. It used to be that when I was growing up that I always had a couple of sheep dogs helping me. And uh, I used to have them just by motioning my hand, I could have them run out and turn the herd for me. Or I could have them go clear out ahead of the herd and ask them to bring them back this way. And I would just go, beep, beep, beep. And then they would take off and they would turn the sheep and, and save me walking all that distance all the way around to herd the sheep back in a certain direction. But uh, the dogs, uh, I remember they had some of the old traditional names of Jano, uh, Tanjo. Uh, um, and it was just that uh, always the name seemed to have that last yo on the end of it at uh, some point, you know, where they have to learn how to treat sheepdogs. You never ever feed the sheepdog in front of the hogan or near the home. You always feed the sheepdog out by the sheep corral. And the way that they are trained from the time that they are little puppies is that's where you feed them. And that's where you keep them is over by the sheep corral. And if they get kind of uh, wanting to be trained a little bit more, you tie the little puppy to the sheep. And so it's always uh, with the sheep, and where the sheep goes, the little puppy goes. And it's kind of interesting, some of the ways that these uh, sheepdogs develop other, other skills than that, that they have as Navajo sheepdog. I mean, if you tie one little puppy to a sheep, they have that rope between them. And as the sheep is moving along, the little puppy has to follow along. But sometimes the puppy might uh, get caught up in a, a brush or something, that rope. And it yanks the little puppy and uh, he's not comfortable with that. So eventually some of these dogs learn how to jump on the back of the sheep. So that there they ride. So that they don't get themselves snared up in a bush or something. And so they learn how to ride on sheep sometimes. And so you would see that every so often as you might watch a sheep dog. But these were very special animals and they never left the sheep. And when the coyotes would come around, they would chase them off. 
And, um, but actually, I think it was really trying to play with the coyotes, and the coyotes were just fearful of the dogs. And so it was that uh, those are the things that you observe. And you learn these things by uh, working with the, uh, the Navajo sheepdogs. They are very different than the ones that most people are familiar with as far as the, uh, the ones that are special bred for um, uh, sheep herding. And so those are a different type of animal entirely. But the Navajo sheepdog is very different in the way that it is brought up. And I think that when they keep them with the sheep, they begin to think that they are sheep themselves. And so that they grow up being dogs that believe that they are sheep and they stay with the sheep and they are treated very different as far as family, uh, families of Diné. And it was that the old traditional Diné believe you never ever bring a dog into the house. Never ever. And that was a way to always keep separate. But today that is very different. My first dog was uh, given to me when I was probably two or three years old, and his name was Ranger. And since then, we've had lots of other dogs, and even my grandchildren have dogs, and they have become very attached to them. And of course, dogs don't live for all that many years. So we've had a number of dogs. And even in modern times, we have some that have been called Chewy from Chewbacca. And then, of course, the... Uh, Darth is one of them because it breathes funny and and so those kids became very attached to those animals So that's the, the family dog becomes a member of the family and that uh, is a good way and uh, So the sheepdog among the Diné, the Navajo sheepdog Was a very different and a very unique animal and today you can see some of them still out on the road taking care of the sheep and those are the things that we're told. Yeah.